Hi there! Welcome to Storytime with Tiffany. Today's book is written by Jory John and Pete Oswald. It is called The Smart Cookie. Greetings! I'm a cookie. I live in a bakery on a street corner near a river. Come on in! Cookie lives on Sweet Street. That's fun. Welcome to our little community. It's a warm and supportive place to spend some time. Pretty fantastic, eh? What fun, you've got little scientists over here. And you've got Brett over here who are interested in geography. Our math lovers are by the chalkboard. Even a birthday cake is having fun with math, measuring three macarons. Here we have some pastries studying astrology. Maybe just looking at the stars. This pretzel is ready to be handy and help out around the store. Then there's our artistic friends. That cupcake is writing poetry. These days, life is sweet, but my journey wasn't always a cakewalk. When I was younger, I couldn't have imagined fitting in here. For a long time, I didn't feel comfortable speaking up or sharing my ideas. I didn't feel like a smart cookie. I wanted to be a cookie who knew all the answers, a cookie who felt confident in a group, a cookie who said, aha, when solving a puzzle, like this, aha. Looking back, I had some trouble in my early days. I went to school in a gingerbread house. Our teacher, Miss Biscotti, was kind and patient. When I arrived each morning, she'd wave at me and smile. But I didn't get the best grades. And I never raised my hand because I couldn't think of the answers as fast as the others. And I was the last to finish most tests. <sighs> It wasn't because I didn't care, and it wasn't because I didn't try. Sometimes I'd get distracted and mess up, even though I knew the material. Those were the most frustrating moments of all. Once, I misspelled the word dough. Cookie dough. That was rough. Another time I added when I meant to subtract. Ooh, we all do that sometimes, right? Occasionally, we'd have a lesson where I had absolutely no idea what was happening. I just couldn't keep up. I imagined that my desk was a raft and that I was completely lost at sea because that's what it felt like. At night, I slept in a cookie jar. I had about six dozen roommates. Move, you move, no, you move. No, you move, no, you move. I'd stay awake and stare out the window and worry. <sighs> and it went this way, day after day after day. But then something happened that changed everything. It all started with a homework assignment. Miss Biscotti requested our attention one afternoon. Tonight, I would like you to create something completely original, she announced. It can be anything you want. Please bring it to class tomorrow. That was it. There were no further instructions. Miss Biscotti winked at me as I gathered my belongings. I felt like I had a million butterflies in my stomach. Create something? Something original? Do tomorrow? Ooh. I think she's nervous. When I got home, I immediately went to work. At first, I tried a cooking project. The results were half-baked. Next, I tried to hammer and nail something. It splintered immediately. Then I tried making a sculpture. It was a complete bust. I wondered if I was about to fail yet another assignment. I was stuck. I stared out the window and watched the rain hit the river. There was something mesmerizing about the water, how it moved in such a chaotic way, swirling around and around, yet ultimately figuring out exactly where it needed to go. 
Suddenly, I had an idea. I decided to write something original, a poem. Aha! She figured out what she wanted to do. I came up with a title based on how I'd been feeling. My crummy days. After that, the rest of it seemed to fall into place. I wrote and I wrote. I lost track of time. An hour went by in a flash. Aha, I said when I was finished. I couldn't sleep that night, but it wasn't because I was worried. It was because I was excited. I felt like I had really accomplished something. I felt smart. Do you ever have a hard time sleeping because you're so excited about the next day? That happens to me for sure. The following day, Miss Biscotti asked for volunteers to share what we'd created. One kid showed off his original frosting art. Another kid revealed her sprinkle distribution machine. It was neat seeing how everyone was good at such different things. Finally, Miss Biscotti turned to me. Would you like to share anything? She asked. Gulp, I gulped. I thought I'd probably crumble under the pressure. Oh, she's nervous. But I made my way to the front of the classroom. I noticed my hands were shaking. My mouth went dry. Um, um. This poem is called My Crummy Days, I said, my voice cracking. Then I read it aloud. As I spoke, I noticed some kids nodding at certain lines. Other kids laughed at parts that were supposed to be funny. As I built toward the finale, I felt myself becoming more confident and animated. And in the end, everyone clapped and cheered. I promise you this, I will never, ever forget it. Miss Biscotti was beaming. No one but you could have written that poem, she said. It was completely original. Aha! I had done it. I'd created something and shared it with the world. Well, my world at least. The rest of the day was a blur. By recess, I was already planning my next poem. I would call it My Sweet Morning. Aha! I thought when I came up with the title. Later that afternoon, Miss Biscotti handed me a note. It said that I should keep on writing no matter what. That meant so much to me. School was a bit different after that. I wasn't so scared to raise my hand or ask a question or share my work. Bonk. Sure, some things still don't come as easily for me as they do for others. But now I know that you can be smart in many different ways. You don't have to have the answers to every question or suddenly be great at everything all at once. You just need a chance to try all kinds of things to find out who you are and what you like to do. As for me, I learned that I can write and I can think of great ideas. And I found plenty of other things I'm good at too. I no longer feel lost at sea. It's more like floating down a river. And the best part is, there's always more to learn. Because we're all smart cookies. Poetry night. Aha, aha, aha. I think that Cookie's poem is making all the other treats feel inspired to do their own art when they get home. They are all having aha moments. The end. Do you ever feel like you haven't found your thing yet? You don't know what your talent is yet? Don't worry, there's plenty of time to still figure it out. Just keep trying new things and you will find what you love the most. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.